Hey, future self. I'm sitting in the car. I don't know why. Instead of driving home, I am talking to you. How are you? How are you feeling? Today has been something of a roller coaster. I started the day off in too much pain. Too much. There's this conundrum that I'm stuck in. It just spins around in my brain, which is getting better takes a lot of work. Um, and even if I'll never, you know, I'm never gonna not be disabled, but maybe I will fix this brain and then something else will, you know, happen. Just like sort of what is happening with my foot. Last year, the pain was mostly focused in my foot and we fixed that problem, mostly. The prosthetic is still giving me blisters and a bunch of stuff, but um, the pain of my foot falling apart has definitely improved. Hashtag 2018. Um, and just as I felt like I was getting that resolved, all of my attention then had to be focused on my hips um, and my SI joint. Um, and it wasn't that, <laughs> it wasn't that that didn't hurt before. Uh, my hips and my back have been hurting for a long time. Um, it's just that I have to take the pains one at a time. And that's sort of part of the, part of the deal of my body. And I wish it felt like taking my meds at exactly the right time and never missing a dose and taking, wearing the joint braces and and sleeping in exactly the correct position and working in exactly the correct position and never doing anything wrong. Like, I try so hard to be compliant. Um, and I don't always get the cognitive or dopamine or, um, you know, pain chart results from that work. And unfortunately, you know, I was um, thinking about this idea of good fuel to burn for, you know, doing something in the world. Um, Hank Green made a video about this, and John made one, and Hank made another one, and, you know, I, Vi and I have talked about this, um, sort of like what your fuels are, and... For me, the dirtiest fuel I burn is my pain. Like, I don't want to burn it, but it's also almost impossible not to. Um, I want to do everything possible to treat my body as best I can, to give my body, like, the best possible um, context in which to heal and in which to just sort of, like, be disabled. But that isn't always possible. Um, I can't always, um, <laughs> I can't avoid making myself in more pain. Um, I can't, <laughs> I can't stay home on the couch wearing the brace, like, positioned exactly the way that will, you know, fix this joint all the time. Like, I I can't. I have to work. I have to live in the world. Um, my injury isn't so bad that like I need to be in traction or something. Um, so I feel like the dirty fuel that I burn is my body. And I don't want to be doing that. Um, but I don't see a way around it. I don't see a way around being this way. Um, I 
And then this this booklet that I shared with by um, by Felden Christ, sort of a condensing down his philosophy of movement to uh, like these few things. The thing that keeps sticking with me is that Felden Christ repeats over and over again, like don't ignore your pain. You have you can't ignore your pain. You can't ignore it. You have to find a way to use your body that feels good. Um, and I would love to do that. Um, but I have no idea how. And I've been trying for so long. Um, so, future self, I really hope that you have found ways that currently, to me, per, you know, current self feel just impossible. Feel, you know, feel like they don't exist. May you find ways to not ignore your pain and not um, burn your body as fuel all the time. So, yeah. I've been thinking about pain. I'm <sighs> from 10 seconds later. Pain is not a dirty fuel. It's a greenhouse gas. I just let it build up and build up and build up in order to accomplish economic growth and a list of things I have done and artworks I have made. In the meantime, I'm letting global warming pain levels um, just shoot through the roof. Me, I'm the global warming. I didn't, I didn't even know I was a global warming. Did, did I mix my metaphor somewhere?